The first step is personal protection. Inexcusably, this step is often overlooked either in haste or in disregard for fundamental precautionary measures. Ideally, when handling compressed gas, safety glasses, protective gloves, and safety shoes should all be worn at all times. In the case of even a small incident, protective apparel is useful in helping prevent personal injury. The second step is inspection. Whenever handling gas cylinders, inspect the area around the valve for corrosion, damage, or mechanical strain. And inspect the cylinder itself for signs of damage, abuse, or excess wear and tear. Seek expert assistance if you discover a potential problem. Next is preparation. Be alert and aware of what you are handling. Inspect any cylinder documentation, tags, and stenciling. Read the shoulder labels for a summary of cylinder contents, including the balance gas. Check the MSDS sheet. Following preparation is anticipation. You already know what you are handling and the nature of the chemical hazards. But accidents happen quickly. So, anticipation is key. Should an incident occur, whatever your response, you will want to be in a position to respond appropriately and without hesitation. Use the proper safeguards to help prevent incidents. Gas cylinders are awkward objects, and they pose a significant potential hazard in the event of a fall. Full and empty cylinders should be stabilized at all times. This holds true for all cylinders, all sizes, including lecture bottles and portable cylinders. Cylinder stability is also important during cylinder transportation. Only a proper cylinder hand truck, one specifically designed for moving gas cylinders, should be used, and always with a chain or strap in place to secure the cylinder. Always seek assistance in difficult settings, such as moving a cylinder up or down stairs or across uneven surfaces and inclines. Let's put the cylinder truck to work. When picking up a cylinder, position the truck as close to the cylinder as you can without interfering with your own ability to maneuver the cylinder. Two feet or less is a good rule of thumb. With the truck in position, you can remove the securing chain or strap, but do not do so until you are ready to begin moving the cylinder. Keeping the cylinder as close to fully vertical as possible, use both hands to roll and walk the cylinder into position on the carrying device. Immediately apply the chain or strap securely before tilting the cylinder truck. When delivering a cylinder, the same guidelines apply in reverse. Get as close to the final position of the cylinder as you can. Keep the chain or strap in place when bringing the hand truck to the vertical position. Use both hands to roll and walk the cylinder into position and immediately secure the cylinder with a chain or strap. Remember that cylinders are vulnerable to being bumped and tipped, so always be quick to secure a cylinder against falling. Once the cylinder is secure, it is okay to remove the valve cover and proceed with hardware installation. Compressed gases can be dangerous if handled improperly, but reasonably safe with proper training and careful attention. This video contains some guidelines, but this video is not a substitute for a proper safety training program. If your facility does not have a safety program, Matheson may be able to help you find the appropriate resources. Thank you for watching this video. At Matheson, we hope you found this video to be informative and useful.